My heart was so filled with what I do know for sure about being successful in life and what it takes that I knew I wouldn't be able to get it all in a commencement speech. So I've tried to condense into just three items. Aren't you glad it's three and not 10? Your crown has been paid for. Put it on your head and wear it. And the three things that I want to leave with you, just these three, I could do 10, I could do a whole life class. But just these three things will carry you if you let them. First and foremost, knowing who you are. Knowing who you are. Being able to answer this question, who am I and what do I want? I'm asking the bigger question of who am I? Who am I really? My answer is I am God's child. I am, I am that which is born of all that is. I am, as Pierre de Chardin said, a spiritual being having a human experience. Come trailing the breath of the ancestors yet, but trailing the breath of the angels. And understanding that because I am connected to the source of all that is. All that is possible is possible for me. That's who I am. And what do I want? I don't want to just be successful in the world. I don't want to just make a mark or have a legacy. The answer to that question for me is, I want to fulfill the highest, truest expression of myself as a human being. I want to fulfill the promise that the Creator dreamed when He dreamed the cells that made up me. What do I want? You must have some kind of vision for your life. Even if you don't know the plan, you have to have a direction in which you choose to go. I never was the kind of woman who liked to get in a car and just go for a ride. So, knowing who you really are in this space and time that we embody, that's number one. What do you want? Who are you? Number two, you must find a way to serve. Martin Luther King said that not everybody can be famous, but everybody can be great because greatness is determined by service. Now we live in a world where everybody wants to be famous and where we admire people for just being famous. We think being known brings us value. The truth is all of that will fade in time. And the real years. truth is that service and significance, service and the significance that you bring to your service is that which is lasting. So using whatever it is you produce, your product, as a way of giving back to the world. When you shift the paradigm of whatever it is you choose to do to service and you bring significance to that, success will, I promise you, follow you. Service and significance equals success. That's number two. Number three, it's so simple but so hard to do. Always do the right thing. Thing. Always. And what I know is that when you are excellent, you become unforgettable. People remember you. You stand out. Regardless of what it is, you become an unforgettable woman. And that is what we all want. We want to be unforgettable and not forgettable. So doing the right thing, even when 
nobody knows you're doing the right thing, will always bring the right thing to you. I promise you that. Why? Because the third law of motion is always at work. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That is so true in all of our lives. That's what Newton said. Celia in the color purple said it. Everything you even try to do to me. Already done to you. Everything you even try to do to me. Already done to you. So you don't have to worry about revenge or getting back at somebody, making sure they pay. You just have to do the right thing and the right thing will follow you even when people don't support it. I be excellent. People notice. The most important thing I have come to know in doing the right thing and making the right choices is understanding what we talked about yesterday. All of you leaving here have the potential for enormous success. There's a price that comes with that. People don't always like you and they're not always happy for you. And if you surround yourself with people who are not accustomed to your success, they become fearful, they become scared because you are reflecting back something to them that they don't recognize. Now they're not gonna say, you know, I'm very fearful because you're reflecting back to me something I don't recognize. They're going to say, you know what they're going to say. They're going to say, who she thinks she is. Who she thinks she is. That only happens when you are around people who do not mean and want and aspire to the best for you. People who want the best for you want you to be your best. So my greatest advice to you is to surround yourself with people who are going to fill your cup until your cup runneth over. So when people say you're so full of yourself, you can say, yeah. Your internal big questions. Who do I wanna be in the world? My relationship to source energy, to all that is God. I'm not talking about what you believe in God. I'm talking about your experience of that which is all life, which is divine and universal. I'm talking about the big deal, being connected and aligned with that. When you are tuned in and charged into that, whenever you feel empty, you go inside yourself and you connect to the source and you know that all things are possible. To know that and to choose to do the right thing in service and significance. I promise you, you will create a vessel of service for yourself first, because you have to honor yourself first. You have to give to yourself first, otherwise you have nothing to give away. You will create a vessel for yourself, for your family, your community, and the world. And those three things will not only lead you to a blessed life. I stand as a witness. My life is so blessed, I can't even take it in sometimes. It will lead you not just to a, a, a gifted life and a rewarding life that fills you up, but a sweet life. That's what you want. You want the sweetness. You want it to be so sweet so that even when the storms come, and they will, you'll know this too shall pass. This too shall pass. The storm is passing over and you shall not be moved because you know who you are.